Hi, welcome to the Silver Spleen. My name is Moses Malone, and this is my review of Lady Cop and Papa Crook. Alan Mack and Felix Chong wrote this movie. They've written a lot of movies. They wrote Infernal Affairs. On that DVD, the China ending is an extra that you have to choose because it was different from the theatrical version. Eight years later, you have to buy the DVD of Lady Cop and Papa Crook in order to see the Hong Kong ending because it's different than the theatrical version. I saw the theatrical cut here in Hong Kong in 2009. It was obvious that it had been cut pretty drastically. I don't even necessarily mean the running time. I mean the cuts were just very obvious and kind of jarring. There are a number of things that make this an interesting film, but a lot of those things can't be shown in China. Less than stellar policemen, criminals who are less than vile, and open cooperation between those two parties are probably the worst offenders. I'm sure there are more, but I watched the director's cut of the DVD, so I'm not really gonna give you an exhaustive comparison. You can buy the DVD and watch both versions and then you'll know. Let's just say that the different endings are very different. And to be fair, while the China censors may have negatively impacted this film, to be honest, it was pretty messed up already. The plot is trotted out and followed, but not with much detail or attention or style. A lot of times we learn what happened in the story because someone in the movie tells someone else what happened. And that's how we know. I guess it's better than not knowing. Eason Chan plays John Falk, leader of a diesel smuggling ring. I don't mean they're all large women, I mean diesel fuel. When one of his deals goes bad, his world starts to fall apart around him. His gang is getting restless. His suppliers want their money up front. And then somebody kidnaps his son. Sammy Cheng plays Maureen Sito, a police officer with a strong personality and a weak boyfriend. Conroy Chan plays her boyfriend Michael, an aspiring sculptor with some mental health issues. Sammy Chang's character seems to be presented comically. Maureen is a good police officer, but all she really wants is to be married. You know, like all good women do. She spends most of her time overreacting and generally being out of control. That's funny and entertaining, but it made it hard for me to take her seriously as a police officer and I wondered how any of the other characters could either. Besides, while she's busy whining and pouting and mugging, in the rest of the movie there's gangsters, murder, kidnapping, and violence. I couldn't reconcile those two very different dynamics. This movie confused me. I couldn't really care about the serious parts because they kept getting interrupted by funny parts. Not to mention that Eason Chan isn't really a convincing gangster. Loving father? Caring husband? Totally believable. Gang boss? No. It's nothing against him. I just didn't buy it. The other aspect of his role didn't really work out too well either. There isn't much chemistry between Sammy Chang and Eason Chan on screen, but then again, Eason's character is married, so it's probably better that way. Between the lack of chemistry, the anorexic plot, and the tonal schizophrenia, Lady Cop and Papa Crook came off feeling like a movie stitched together from unused footage from three or four very different movies. I think the film would have been better if it was directed by Pang Ho Chung, whose penchant for black humor could have really helped reconcile the two halves of the movie. I can't really recommend watching this movie as entertainment, but I think there's a lot to be learned from seeing it. Compare the Hong Kong and China versions to see how they differ. Watch either one of them to see how not to write a movie. Watch it to see two very famous and very charismatic people have absolutely no spark together. I'm not being sarcastic. You really can learn things from this movie. To me, that's the best reason to watch it. Quite frankly, about the only reason. In the description, there's a link where you can buy this movie. And since you get two different cuts, it's almost like getting them for half price. If you enjoyed this review, please leave me a comment. If you didn't enjoy the review, leave me a comment. If you enjoy the channel, please subscribe. That way you'll get to see all the new videos right away. Thank you for watching.